Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how simple distillation can be used to separate a mixture of liquids. If we start off with the use of simple distillation then. Nice and simply, it separates liquids from a mixture based on their boiling points. The boiling point is the physical property used to separate those liquids. Now the three major uses of simple distillation are to prepare alcohol, ethanol, to separate the fractions of crude oil, and to separate the gases in air. So how does this work? Nice and simply, when a liquid is heated, eventually it's going to reach its boiling point. At that point, it will turn from a liquid into a gas. It will evaporate. Now if you have two liquids in your mixture and you only heat it to the lowest boiling point, only one liquid will evaporate. When it evaporates and moves into the condenser, it will then cool down, it will condense and it will turn back into a liquid. So as long as you don't go above the second liquid's boiling point, as long as you stay below it, you can separate them. The one with the lowest boiling point will end up in the conical flask at the end and the one with the highest boiling point which you haven't reached will stay in your round bottom flask at the start. Let's have a look at it in action then. If we start off with the round bottom flask then, our still. In here I have a mixture of water which I've dyed blue and ethanol. Water has a boiling point of 100 degrees and ethanol 78. So what I need to do is heat my mixture up to 78 degrees. As you can see here, as it gets towards 78 degrees, I'm starting to see some of that liquid evaporating. That is my ethanol. As that gas evaporates, it will move into the condenser. Now what the condenser does is it has water all the way around it. So when that gas, that ethanol gas, passes into the condenser, that water will start to cool it down. And as you can see here, my ethanol is condensing. It's turning from a gas back into a liquid. Now because it's a liquid, I need somewhere to collect it. I've used a boiling tube, you can use a conical flask, you can use anything as long as you are collecting that liquid. And as you can see, it is colourless. So you can see I have definitely separated my ethanol, which is colourless, from my dyed water, which is blue. Okay, let's have a look at what the examiner can ask you. Three questions for you. Number one, Describe the state change when ethanol is heated and turns into a gas. So what happens, what is the state change when a liquid turns into a gas? Question two, describe the state change that occurs in the condenser. So again, we're turning from a gas back into a liquid. What is that state change called? And then number three, explain how to separate a mixture of ethanol and water, where ethanol has a boiling point of 78 degrees C and water has a boiling point of 100 degrees C. So what temperature do you go up to? What happens next? Talk through, think what we talked about in this video. Pause the video, have a go at the question, and we'll see how you've done in a bit. Okay, let's go through. If we start with question one then, describe the state change when ethanol is heated and turns into a gas. Hopefully you'll remember that's evaporating or boiling. Either of those gets you that mark. Number two, describe the state change that occurs in the condenser. So that's turning from a gas back into a liquid, that's condensing. And then number three, explain how to separate a mixture of ethanol and water. What you have to do first of all, you have to heat your mixture, heat your solution. Once you've done that, what temperature do you go up to? 78 degrees, to your lowest boiling point. As soon as you've done that, what will happen? Your ethanol will evaporate and it will move into the condenser. In the condenser, what happens for your fourth marking point? That ethanol will condense or turn back into a liquid. And then finally, all you need to do is collect it. So that can go into a conical flask, a boiling tube, or anything else similar to that that would get you a mark. Now there's five ways there you could have got three marks. Any three of them will work. I've got a review question for you, which is explain how to separate a mixture of four liquids. The boiling points are as follows. Substance A has a boiling point of 40 degrees, substance B 60, substance C 80, and substance D100. Think to yourself, how could you do it? How could you adapt the method that we've just talked about to collect four different liquids? And if you're not sure, I have got a video on fractional distillation which goes through just that. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel. You can check out the latest video 
and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.